Welcome to the Messy Mind Podcast, a listening experience where we provide you with valuable insight, knowledge, and experience to engage, inspire, and empower with your host, Tammy L. Davis. I'd really like to focus on the power of intention. So have you ever attended an event, whether it's a networking event, whether it's a a dinner party, whether it's a small gathering, actually big or small, and set an intention on how you wanted to show up or what you wanted your result to be when attending that event and meeting new people? So let me go back and explain to you how I got to ask you this question because it's something that I do. And let me tell you why I do it. So anytime I attend an event, I set an intention. The reason why I do is because in late 2017, I attended a conference or we were scheduled to attend a conference. And when I thought about this conference, I got a bit overwhelmed. It was the first time that I attended this conference ever It was on the national level. It was someplace, of course, we had to travel to, and it was to be attended by thousands of people, not only people, entrepreneurs such as myself, but also key decision makers, um, individuals that I would love to do business with. And I started to get overwhelmed. I started to get nervous. And the reason being is because I am an introvert. So for those who know me well, they understand. Some people still don't believe me, but but they understand that I'm a functioning introvert. So when my back is pushed up against the wall, I will engage. But for the most part, I'm an introvert. I love being somewhere quiet, alone, uh, reading a book, listening to other podcasts, um, writing. And I always say that I'm a direct contrast to my husband, who is an extrovert. Johnny can talk to anyone. It doesn't matter if he's pumping gas. It doesn't matter whether he's in the grocery store line. It doesn't matter where he's supposed to be, quote unquote, running into buying something. It doesn't matter. He can talk to any and and just strike up a conversation. It could be about the littlest thing. And I would say for myself is that I think to speak and I'm an avid observer, whereas my husband, Johnny, he talks to think. So he'll ramble on and on and on to get to to his particular point, whereas I'm quiet. Again, I'm more observed. Um, I'll even go into a situation and people might, you know, think, that I am a bit standoffish, but I really am assessing the situation. So shout out to those. When you see me in an event and you just see me standing off a little bit initially, I'm just assessing the situation. So I can say, going back to this conference, it was really important for me to break um, out of that. So instead of focusing on the overwhelmness of how large this conference is on a national level, people from all over the world attending, and then how do I carve out my little place? First of all, what was I carving out? Okay, my differentiator and my elevator pitch and it seemed too much. So what I did was... I shifted the conversation in my head and set an intention. And my intention was simple. It was to focus on the one thing that I do best, which is develop quality connections, like like those connections which are real and authentic. I decided that I would rather make a solid, authentic connection with one person than to make connections with 100 people who just have my business card. So of course, I pull out the map, of the conference. We've done our intel. We know who we want to do business with. And of course, me, you know, gauging the situation and being observant, observant, some of those people were crossed off the list because again, I sent the intention of making quality, authentic, real connections. And let me tell you something, the results were amazing. I had an unbelievable experience. I was able to make many new friends, meet potential new business partners, 
you know, two of which we've done business with, which was a blessing. I was lucky enough to, you know, have one-on-one time with amazing individuals and key decision makers with Fortune 100, Fortune 500 companies. And to top it all off, I was selected by TIG to receive a free scholarship to attend training at the Tuck Executive Education at Dartmouth College. So I can tell you by me stepping back and making the decision to approach something that historically would overwhelm me, all I did was just dial it in and set an intention. So I ask you, when you approach new things, whether it's meeting new people, whether it's attending new an event, whether it's making a, a, a decision, what is it that you want the result to be? And in order to support you in that result, I highly recommend setting and analyze the power of intention. Thank you for joining us this time on the Messy Mind Podcast. Be sure to subscribe to the podcast so you'll never miss an episode. If you found value in this episode, we'd appreciate a rating on iTunes or your listening platform, or if you simply tell a friend about the show. We appreciate being a part of your day and remember to embrace your messy mind.